A homemade incubator is very easy to make and use and can be done by anyone who is really interested. First, you need a hygrometer to read temperature and humidity, supported by one or two medical thermometers to test the accuracy of the hygrometer, very important. The target temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius plus or minus 0.5 degrees. Higher than 40 degrees, your eggs die. Lower than 36 degrees, your eggs stop developing. Try to stay between 37 and 38 degrees for best results. Secondly, you need a kerosene lantern to provide heat. A small lantern is usually sufficient and 2 liters of kerosene can last long enough to hatch a batch of chicken eggs. Thirdly, a container of water to help regulate humidity. The wider the container, the higher the humidity. If you live in an already humid environment or are in rainy season, you may leave this out. Let the hygrometer guide you. Your target, as I've found, is around 45% humidity. If you can achieve this without water, very good. I find that I only need to add water during harmattan season. Too much humidity can make the eggs die at point of hatch. Too little humidity can cause the eggs to dry out too fast and squeeze the embryo to death. Then, of course you need a container to act as the incubator. I started with this blue bucket but I noticed that it had no capacity to preserve heat. So, as you will notice later, I changed to a cooler. A cooler is created for temperature control. So naturally, it is a much better choice. Finally, rice husk or sawdust. It also helps to hold and preserve heat while providing a soft bedding for the eggs. And then of course, you need the eggs to be hatched. Having gathered all we need, we can now assemble our incubator. Please subscribe, like, follow, share. That's all I ask in return for whatever value you may get from this video. Take your container and add a layer of rice husk or sawdust to about 2 inches thickness. Next, add kerosene to lamp, light up and put in the middle of the container. Add container of water. Place your hygrometer in the container. Cover the incubator with something breathable as eggs also need oxygen. This blanket is later replaced with a cotton cloth as you will see. Wait for the temperature to reach 38 degrees Celsius before adding your eggs. Meanwhile, mark eggs on one side to help you when turning them to know the ones you have turned. Now, add the eggs to the incubator. This will cause a drop in the temperature. Please monitor and adjust to stabilize the temperature by either increasing or reducing the lamp. Release excess heat by removing the cover partly. Turn the eggs a minimum of three times daily. If you turn more often, make sure it's an odd number of times per day. Candle the eggs occasionally to monitor progress. I'll show you how in a short video next. My broody duck abandoned her eggs. Without this incubator, I would have lost them. These are the first set of chicks I hatched in my mini homemade incubator. Thank you for watching.